So it's Honey Harvest 2020. We're gonna be trying out a different strategy this year. We're gonna be using bee escape boards. So it's essentially a one-way door where we put it underneath the honey supers and the bees up in the honey supers can go down through, but they can't find their way back up, which should allow us to drain all the bees out of here over the next three days so that when we come back to harvest, there will be next to no bees up in these supers, which will make it much more easy for us to be pulling off the honey supers. I uh, will take you with us today and see how this goes. Future Sean here. I forgot to mention that we're going to be knocking all of the hives that were four or more high, like this one had been, down to three high because we're going to be giving them one day per super for the bees to drain out of them. So we're planning on pulling one Friday and this is Tuesday, so this one's extra one got moved over to that guy over there. This super got filled quite nicely over the last couple of days. We weren't expecting much out of this colony because it was a swarm early this spring, but Lo and behold, they made us some honey, so we'll see how, how much it is. It's not a whole lot. Just get in here real quick. Get out of the way, please, girl. Thank you very much. Quite a few bees in this box yet, actually. Set this on, ensuring that it is going on the correct way. I know some beekeepers will actually put arrows on their pieces of wood to show which direction that the escape should be. That way it's much easier to walk past and be sure that everything is going to go okay. Otherwise you can get a little paranoid, like some people do apparently. Get all these girls off of here. Put it on backwards so we confuse them even more. Ow! I got a stain. Barely. It might be a little fussy tonight. Make sure that we push the hive the lid all the way to the front. There's no way for them to get for robbers to get up in and down into the honey. So we've never used bee escapes before, and this is our first time going to one of these colonies to see just how much they've cleaned out. We're hopeful and it worked very well. The inner cover came with two bees on the inner cover. Man, I'm not seeing anything. Top box is totally clear. There's like four bees in here. Let's see the next one down. are mostly empty anyway, but a couple bees in there, but not much. For right above the brood nest, a couple more, maybe a dozen bees in there. Good enough. As you can see, we thought the worst, but there's not many cappings on the escape here. So I don't think they got much, but we were close to catastrophe. Almost, we didn't have any 17522 this year. So extraction day is finally here. It's a very straightforward process. We're simply going to be pulling the frames out of the supers putting them in the capping tanks, using our capping knives, taking the cappings off of them, and transferring the uncapped frames over into our brand spanking new extractor. At which point the honey will be spun out of them, and we will, as this is spinning, we will be getting the next set ready to go. Very straightforward, we're looking forward to playing around with it. 
So we use, this year we experimented with putting nine frames in the supers, which made the bees draw the frames out nice and fat like this one is, which makes it super easy to uncap. Just, I mean, well you saw how easy that went, because they draw the cells out a little bit above the height of the wood, which makes it very easy to just glide the knife along and get the cappings off. However, they don't always get it right, as you'll see from the other side here. Let's get these last few cells. This other side, they didn't draw it out much at all, which is why when a, a capping scratcher like this is very handy, because you can, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but all of the cells are at or below the level of the wood. Which just makes everything take just a little bit longer because you have to go along and very carefully pop all the cells open. Which isn't the end of the world either.
Thanks for joining us on our honey extraction experience for 2020. It went extremely well, especially compared to last year. Our new extractor was utterly fantastic. We got about 325 pounds of extracted honey, and we have about another 35 to 40 that we're gonna turn into comb and chunk honey for our sale. Yeah, it was a wonderful day. Thanks for joining us. We'll be posting a bottling video shortly.